basically done. This is the idea, uh, more or less. It's very wide. That might be okay. You want the width to length ratio to be, well, I have no idea, but let's call it one to one, definitely less than two to one. So uh, two that way and one this way would be hard to steer it like this. Um, I'm, I'm actually really excited about having this piece. not light. Uh, I probably should have put this here first, I think. I think that would have been the way to go. I mean, that's a complete thought. Whew, that's heavy mower. I don't have the mower I'm planning on using. Uh, it's not here right now. Let's just, let's just look. Let's just look at this. Take it in. Figure it out. The more I have for it is going to be 22 inch, and I think this is 20 inch. So it'll just be about an inch wider on each side, I think. Obviously, the wheels won't be here. This won't be here. It's not a bad size. The only thing I don't like is that I can't cut to the edge of something. I've got like eight, nine inches off the side. So I'll just have to attach a weed whacker. I think though, I think I'm gonna be able to use the height adjustments. I'll be able to attach the mower to here using the wheel axles. That way these height adjustments still work. And that will be very nice and helpful. From there, I'll probably build a platform behind the motor. Um, there's not a lot that's gonna be going on here. I'll have a cutoff for the motor, a servo for that, and then the ESC, which is the electronic speed control that drives the two motors, like this, uh, like a tank. And then the, the radio is about this big. The ESC is only about this big. Batteries, all right, you got me. Batteries are big, batteries are like, they're over there, but they're really heavy, I'm not moving them. Um, they're like this, they're two, 12, 12, they're about the size of a car battery. Uh, I think they are a different type of battery though than a car battery because they came with the wheelchair uh, and they're good, they got free batteries, so that was cool. That's really it though. There's a lot of room up here to do stuff with. I mean, I could, I would like something back here. I wanna put a trailer hitch on it so I can tow a seed spreader. Um, and I, I don't have anything other than a seed spreader right now, but maybe a uh, one of those, uh, thatching rakes or an aerator. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Uh, I guess an aerator would work. You just put cinder blocks on, right? You buy one for a tractor, it'll work just fine. Um, this is cool. This is cool. All right, let's get to it.
the hell there. That was successful. I'm gonna throw these washers, spacers, whatever you wanna call them, in a bucket of ev evapo rust. I could probably throw this whole tire in there, but we'll save that for now. I don't wanna take that apart. Maybe I do. Do I? I don't know if they'll come apart and then I don't know if they'll go back together. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna throw some of this in here though. It's pretty gunked up and greasy. I'll run a brush through there tomorrow. That'll work. Um, I'm gonna clean these off. I'm gonna clean off the bra the uh, the frame. I'm not gonna restore it or anything. I'm not gonna like take it down to bare metal. I might do that after everything's assembled, after the mower's even working. Um, I'll just disassemble and 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 maybe sandblast it. But for now, this was successful. These things are holding air which I cannot believe, they are in rough shape. They are not in good shape. But for now, it'll get me through the prototyping phase, and then maybe I just buy some new tires. I'm sure this is a standard thing. Um, this is the components, oh, there's spacers on here too. Oh man, oh, I gotta dump those in there. Man, I am not done. Yep. Good night.